Okay, are you revising whatever we have learned? Are you revising that regularly? Yes, okay. Yeah, because otherwise, if you don't revise, uh, then revision is uh, very important. At least half an hour, just uh, glancing whatever you have got, just glancing through the formula and realization. So that much is uh, important. Okay, so the first thing uh, we did in the potential chap chapter was what? So first thing we calculated uh, the work done, right? Work done in uh, bringing a charge Q from, let's say, initial point to final. So this was what? This was uh, minus Q and uh, initial to final E dot T R. Right, this was the work done. Am I correct, uh, Aisha? Yes, sir. And uh, then we discussed that this E can be of two types. So E can be uniform or E can be variable. So then uh, we just uh, did both the cases. So for the uniform case, the work done was, uh, what was the work done? Yes. Do you remember for the uniform case? So it was the work done. Yeah. yeah. D D R. Yeah, D R. So for uniform case, this is simply R five. R five minus R. This is the work, right? For the uniform case. And uh, then for the variable case, uh, this is uh, this minus Q. Integral initial to final e dot t. So this is uh, the work for the case of the variable. Variable electricity, uniform electricity. Now after this, uh, we we talked about the difference between we talked about the difference between the potential. and uh, potential difference. Right, so can you tell me that uh, what is the potential? What is the potential? Yes. What is the potential? Do you remember? Yeah, it is the work done in bringing a charge from infinity to fixed point, right? So work done in bringing a charge Q from infinity to fixed point. So this is uh, work done from infinity to point P would be how much? Minus Q, infinity to let's say point P and P dot dr and divide by Q, so Q, Q cancel, and potential is simply E dot uh, dr, infinity to point. So this is the potential, right? Whenever the work done is bringing a charge from infinity to a fixed point, so that would be called uh, the potential, right? Yes, and now we understood that if we bring the charge from let's say initial to final point, then this there will be a potential difference. Right, which is this, which is equal to what this is minus Q E dot dr and initial to final point. So this Q Q cancel and V final minus V initial is what? This is I and F e dot yeah. So this is uh, the potential difference. 
whenever we bring a charge from some infinite initial point to final point. Okay, so from from some fixed point A to from six uh, some fixed point B, right? So you remember that work done in bringing a charge from A to B is what? Q V B minus, right? Yes. Similar? So this is uh, what we call the potential difference. So this is the main difference between potential and potential difference. Potential dif uh, potential is work done from infinity to fixed point B, and potential difference is from initial fixed point to final fixed point. Right. Now again, what did we learn? We learned that this electric field again could be of two types. So one would be uniform. And the other would be bad. Then we calculated the potential difference with the case of uniform field, which was simply e dot. What was there? Yeah. What was the term which was there? R final moment. R final moment. Sorry, initial moment. So this was the potential difference due to. Uniform electric field. Okay, then we had, then we had for, for the variable field, the potential difference was simply initial to final point dot. So this was for the variable. Right. So this uh, we learned. And after this, what did we learn? Potential gradient. Yeah. Uh, after this, what did we learn? So after this, potential we be dipole. Yeah. So uh, potential would be. Yeah. What did you say, Aisha? I said we learned potential due to dipole. Yeah, we learned firstly the simple one. So potential. Yes. So you are going in the right direction. We learn potential due to single charge. So first is the simple case, right? And for single uh, charge, we learned that potential is simply K Q by R. Right. Yes. Then we learned that uh, potential due to multiple charge. Right. For the case of multiple charge, what uh, did we learn? We learned that the potential overall or total potential is the algebraic sum of the rest of the, uh, the rest of the charge. Right. Potential due to individual charge. This we learned, and then as you were saying, after this uh, we learned the potential due dipole. So, what was the potential due to dipole? Can you tell me? K P cross theta by R square. Yes, yes, correct, correct, absolutely good. So, K P cross theta by R square, right? So, we had a dipole. And uh, we calculated the potential at the Z point, which I was making an angle theta. So then we understood uh, two cases. We understood uh, this case, theta equals to zero, and then we understood uh, this case, theta equals to pi by C. So then we calculated V x here, which was what? KP bar KP by R square, and then we calculated V equal which was zero. So this uh, we learned, right? And uh, after this, uh, what did we learn? After this, we learned about the potential due to all of conducting. Or non conducting 
or uh, conducting solid sphere. So we have three kinds of sphere, right? And these three have the same system. So first one is the uh, conducting hollow sphere. Okay. The second one is the non-conducting hollow sphere. And the third one is the uh, conducting solid sphere. So all these uh, three uh, spheres give uh, the same result. So what is the equivalent diagram? So for all these three cases, the charges are residing on the sphere, surface of the sphere. So this is the equivalent diagram. And the radius is what? R. OK. So we understood that there can be three regions. So one was uh, this inside. The other was this uh, surface and then outside. So we have uh, three, this one, this one, let's say here, 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 and here, here, and this surface. So for all these uh, three cases, we calculated the potential, right? Then we calculated uh, the uh, the potential of three conditions. So this was the sphere, right? And the charges were residing at the surface, and this was the radius. So what was the potential inside? KQ by KQ by capital R, right? Radius. Yes. And what was the potential at surface? KQ by capital KQ by capital R. And what was the outside sphere? Potential? Small. Absolutely good. Good, good. So these were the three cases. And then we also uh, drew the variation of the potential. So which was, let's say this is R and this is potential. So variation was this up to radius and then it decreased. So this was the variation, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and then we did uh, the so up to this point uh, we did. Now we were doing one problem. So I gave one homework and uh, then we were doing this problem. Now we also did a uh, potential gradient. Potential uh, gradient? Yes. I guess uh, that part uh, we have not done. Uh, that is my next topic. Okay, sir. Yeah, in the CBC class, uh, we have it's but not and here. I have not, right? So, we have not uh, done that, right? We only calculated multiple charge, dipole, and uh, then and then we calculated the uh, point dipole, we calculated and then, yeah, right. So we have not uh, calculated uh, the gradient of the potential. Oh, so our thing, I was about to do our thing. Yeah, so the question that I gave, what was the question that I gave? Where is that question? Where is that homework that I gave? Yeah, so in the homework, there were how many surfaces?
How many surfaces were there? So this was the equation, right? On and and I told you to calculate the potential at the Let's say this is A point, uh, this is Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Okay, and this was A, this was B, this is uh, C, and this is D. So this was the question, right, Aisha? Yes. So now uh, you see how many uh, surfaces, hollow sphere are there? Four. So we, as we discussed, so the contribution would be due to four spheres, right? Right, uh, Aisha. Yes. So now you see that for this point, for Q one charge, so Q one is uh, outside, inside, or surface. Outside. So due to one, this is uh, outside, right? And uh, two is outside, inside, or surface. Surface. Oh, two, two, Q two. Inside. This point is inside for Q. Oh, it's outside. Outside, right? So outside. And for the third part, third uh, shell. For the third cell, uh, this is uh, what? Uh, surface, outside, inside. <laughs> surface, right? Correct. And uh, the last one. So the last one is uh, what? Outside, surface, inside. inside. Yeah, what did you say? Inside. Inside, correct. Absolutely. Now uh, we know that, so for outside, we calculate the small r, which is distance. So this would be k q1 by how much? Yes. k q1 by how much? P. What is the distance? Uh, did you say what? C. And for the case of two, K Q two by how much? B. For outside, it is a radius distance. What? Yeah. So we have a K Q by radius, K Q by radius, and K Q by distance. This is inside. B. This is the surface and this is outside. So for outside, uh, the distance is uh, the, what we measure, right? So for Q2, what is the distance? This distance is C, right? Yes. This would be KQ2 by C. And uh, for the third case, KQ3 by this is surface. So surface is C. And uh, for the fourth case, KQ4 by radius. So what is the radius of the fourth uh, sphere? Yes. What is the radius of the fourth sphere? D. D. So this would be the answer. Right, so this is a K by C common. This is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 and plus K Q4 by D. So this would be the answer. Please uh, note it down and if you have any doubt, uh, please ask. So then the next topic is uh, the order. So we will do the order first.
whenever you have noted it down, please. Is this a question clear? Yes. Please note it down and then. Uh, the combination, uh, yeah, which uh, assignment? So the resistance assignment or which assignment? Resistance. Yeah, resistance one was correct. So that is why I only talked about this one, right? Resistance one okay. was correct. Yeah, so that is why uh, whenever you uh, do the problems, right? So I don't uh, discuss this question. And whenever you are, uh, so whenever you do some mistake, so then I talk about uh, okay. Okay, sir. Done, sir. Okay. So now let us uh, talk about uh, earthing. So we have uh, what is earthing. So let's say that let's say that uh, this is a sphere, okay, hollow sphere, and I do the earthing of. So let's say that initially was the charge of this was Q, right? And uh, what does earthing do? So it uh, provides some extra charges to this uh, sphere so that the total charge on this uh, sphere becomes zero, right? So this earthing will provide QE, earthing will provide, so this is Q charge, so this will provide a negative Q charge. Right, such that the potential at this uh, surface would become zero. So let's say this is point A. So V A would be how much? This would be K Q by let's say this is this is R and uh, minus or this is plus of K minus Q by R. So then I will get uh, what K Q by R minus K Q by R. So then this would become C. So what does our thing do? That it provides the same amount of negative charge so that the total potential becomes C. Is that uh, clear to you? Yes, yeah, so uh, on the basis of this earth thing, the question is uh, like, so remember we had uh, three spheres, right? So the charges were Q1, Q2, Q3, right? And this part, this part uh, was Earth. So in this part, uh, we had an Earth. Okay, let's say this is the point. So what it will do, it will provide some earthing charge. Okay, so the question is that, we have to find, the question is that we have to find the Q or T. This would be how it is. Right. And this is given that this part is, uh, so this part is uh, earth, right. So we have supplied uh, earthing to this part. So at this part, uh, what would be the potential? What would be the potential? If this is earth, so what would be the potential? Yeah, we just talked about that. So if uh, the sphere or the surface is uh, earth, so the potential becomes what? Zero. So this is the given. Okay. So the idea is that we have to find out what is Q, but we know so we know 
that B A is so uh, let me give you these uh, radiuses, right? And then I will ask you to calculate. So these are the charges, Q1, Q2, Q3. And uh, how many surfaces do you have? Three. These surfaces. So uh, please, uh, so due to uh, on this A point, on this A point, how many contribution of potential would be there? How many contribution of potential would be there? Three. So V1 plus and what is quickly calculate at so who joined? Okay, so yes, uh, Rabia, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, sir. For 37 minutes, 37, yeah. approximately 40 minutes, half an hour class. Sir, I'm so sorry. I'm actually out right now, so I forgot that. I had class today. Yeah, so this is the third time I had asked, right? So, yes, yeah, so I'm really sorry. Yeah, please, please be regular because otherwise uh, you will not uh, be able to understand what is happening, right? So in the middle, you will join and then uh, it would be blank. So please uh, be regular and on time. So you are regular, but uh, not on time. Okay. Yes, uh, next time I will be early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, please. Okay, so uh, we are doing uh, the earthing question. So the this question, so I gave a, uh, a homework, right? In the previous class. So did you try that homework? Yes. In the previous class, I gave a homework. Uh, Rabia, did you try that question? No, sir. Okay, so yeah, please uh, do that question and send the answer. Okay, then I will get to know that how much you have learned, uh, what, how much do you know about that question? Please uh, write uh, the question with you, so please uh, send me the answer of that question. In the next time, uh, please uh, send me that, uh, send me the answer of that question, okay? Yeah, so uh, we are talking about, uh, okay, okay, yeah. So whenever uh, you get time, please at least uh, try that question, right? Then you would be able to understand that uh, if you can do that problem or if you know to solve that problem or not. So please uh, at least try that question. Okay. Yeah, so we are talking about earthing. So uh, the earthing is a phenomena what, uh, so it, uh, what it does that it uh, makes the potential zero, right? So how does it makes the potential zero? So it provides some extra charge so that the charge, total charge on that uh, system becomes zero and then the potential becomes zero. So that is what our thing to So you have to, yeah. So in this question, in this question, you have to find that what is the charge due to our thing. And uh, given is that, this part at this part or at this surface, the potential. So this is the given information. You calculate what is V1, V2, V3 due to all these surfaces. And then you calculate VA. So calculate VA for me, uh, Rabia. Okay. Please calculate uh, VA. Yes, Aisha, what did you get? No one. Okay, please. Uh, yeah. Please calculate. Yeah, please uh, calculate and tell me the answer. Rabia, you also calculate. 
So the question is that the idea is that we have to find out what is the potential at this at this uh, surface or at this point. What is the potential at this point? And we have three contribution from each surfaces. So we have to find out which is inside, outside surface. So you guys have three minutes, right? Please uh, do that question and test it. Sir, so I don't have my book with me. Book? Uh, you don't have any notebook? Uh, no, sir. I told you I'm out. So that's fine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Yeah, then, uh, okay, so Aisha and, yeah. Okay, KQ, yeah. So Aisha and me will do the problem and you just understand, okay? Okay, Aisha, you are uh, nearly correct, but there is only one, uh, one uh, problem. So, yeah, Aisha, you tell me that what is the total charge on this surface? Right. So let me, yeah, please uh, again. Uh, so Aisha, good, good. So let me, let me. So due to this surface, this is the outside. So this is outside. And this side is a sphere or surface. And the third one is inside. So these are the distribution that we know. And for outside, this would be K, Q by B as uh, Aisha correctly wrote. But uh, there is second thing. So this is surface. And the total charge is Aisha, you see this is Q2 plus Q3. Right, this is the total charge, right, uh, at this surface. Mm -hmm. So then this would be B. And then lastly, we have K, Q3 by C. This is uh, right. This is B. So is this uh, clear to you, uh, Rabia? Is this uh, clear? Yes. Now we know that due to earthing, the potential is zero. So K Q one by B plus K Q two by B plus K Q B by B plus K, Q, 3 by C, this is C. Right, and we want to find out what is the Q. So K, K, K is common, so it is cancelled. Right, so Q, E is, uh, Q, E by B is minus of Q, 1 by B minus of Q, 2 by B minus of Q, 3 by C. So we can take minus common, so minus of Q1 by B, Q2 by B, and Q3 by B. So this is the QE charge due to earthing. Then uh, charge due to earthing would be how much? Minus of Q1 by B. This goes in the right hand side. So Q2 by B, Q3 by C into so this much uh, charge will be provided by this earth. Okay, this amount of charge would be provided by earth so that the potential at this point becomes zero. So this is uh, the charge due to earth. Is that uh, clear to you guys? If you want me to explain it again, so I can explain, but uh, if it is clear, then it's clear. So is this a clear to you guys, Aisha and Rabia? Yes, sir. Okay, then uh, please uh, note it down. Please uh, note it down. And whenever you guys uh, uh, want me to scroll down that feedback,
yes uh, completed uh, should i scroll down this case guys part whenever you have completed a picture noted uh, guys done sir rabia noted oh so you are not noting it down rabia so you just take this picture okay so the next uh, topic is potential to to bring charge so we have we have a ring right and uh, then we are calculating the potential at the active point so let's say we have some ring right and uh, then we are calculating the potential at the let's say x distance and the radius of this ring is r so the potential due to ring is simply k q by root of r square plus x this is the potential okay okay so you don't need to know about the derivation just remember the potential due to ring right and uh, the variation of so the variation or before we do the variation what would be uh, x at center at center what would be x so this is x right this is the x distance what would be the x at center so you have a ring right you have a ring and then this is a, so this is the point so this is the x length but at center what is the x length what is the x length yes right so let's say you have a ring right you have a ring and then this is the x distance so at center how much is the x distance yeah at center how much how much right you have moved so what is the x distance at center So let's say that uh, this is the ring, right? And let's say you are, let's say this is pi. Let's say this is two. Let's say this is six. Let's say this is two. This is one. So at this point, how much would be x? Right. So. is this a uh, not clear x would be zero so is that uh, why are you guys not responding to so i will explain again yeah uh, you were saying x equals to zero no sir can you explain again yeah so we have uh, 
so how much is, so let's say this is some ring right this is some ring and then uh, we are calculating the potential at this point right so this distance this distance is the x distance okay now what you do is that you shrink uh, this distance so then you come to the uh, center of the ring let's say you have a bangle i don't have any bangle so let's say i have some bangle and this is the center so at center what would be the x distance x distance would be zero right is that uh, correct is that understood yes so x distance would be zero and uh, from here what would be v at center from this formula what would be v at center yes what would be v at center x is zero so what would be v at center Yes, guys. X is zero, so K Q by root R square. Root R square. So this would be simply K Q by R. Right. Yes, correct, correct action. So this would be V at center, and then potential will. So if we have some value of X. Then potential, so the denominator would be larger, so potential will decrease. So this is the maximum, this is the maximum voltage that we have. Right, so maximum potential is at center. Because after that, this X will increase the denominator. So if denominator is increased, so this will be decreased over our value. So the variation of Variation of potential with x. So at zero it is maximum, and uh, then this is so this is the variation. Okay, so this is uh, the max. This is how potential is increasing, and this is how distance. So this is the variation of potential. Uh, if you guys have any doubt, uh, you can ask me. Otherwise, please put it down. So please write uh, down this part. So can you explain again? The is what? The graph. Yes, sir. Okay. So you see that. You see that uh, this is uh, V is, let's say, uh, 3 by, let's say, 4 plus X square, right? So if X is 0, this would be simply 3 by root 4, right? Which is uh, 3 by 2, 1.5, right? But if I increase the X, so let's say i x is a let's say two. So then v would be what? V would be three by four plus two square, which means that this would be three by four plus four eight. So you see that the value is increased, or so this total value would be decreased or increased. Yeah, the total value would be increased or decreased. This is root by four, three by four. This is a, a smaller number, right? So let's say three by four, three by eight, three by five, three by 10. So which one is the, so whenever we have a smaller denominator, so the value would be bigger. Right? This would be, let's say 0.7 something. But if we increase the denominator, so this would be how much? So this would be 0.4, nearly 0.4. This is 0.6, and uh, this is 0.3. So if we decrease the denominator, so this would be the highest. 
and if we increase the denominator, so this will decrease. Is that clear to you? So this will decrease, right? This will decrease, and then let's say that three by thousand, right? So this will decrease further, and three by let's say very big value. So this will close to zero. So is this uh, clear to you? Similarly, we have a root, so this will have a negative value also. So in negative value, it will also decrease. Is that uh, clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so noted up to this point. Aisha, noted? Yes, sir. Okay, so now let us do one question based on this problem and then. Uh, yeah, then. So the question is that we have uh, two rings. Okay, so two rings just are placed such that there. Now, such that uh, their printer lies on the same line. Right. So find potential difference Uh, ring chart in a given okay so we have our two ring charts let's say this one and let's say this one right so this is the these are the Center of these uh, in charge. This is not a exact center. Okay. So we have our two ring charges, right? And this is A point, and uh, this is B point. Okay. And uh, the radius of this. So let's say the charges are this. This is Q, and uh, this is also Q. But the radius of this is R1, right? And the radius of this ring is R2. Okay. R1 is uh, 0 0.0, let's say 5 uh, or uh, 6. And uh, R2 is uh, 0 0.05. Okay, so these are the so these are the uh, charges. Uh, these are the radiuses, and uh, we have this distance between A and B point. So this is uh, let's say this is x, right, which is 0 0.1. Okay, and these are just right. And this Q is uh, 10 to the power minus 6. So these are the whole information that we have. And uh, we want to calculate VA minus. Is this a question clear to you guys? Yeah, is this a question clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so at uh, this point, when uh, we want to calculate uh, the potential, let's say, we want to calculate uh, the potential at this point, A point. 
so uh, how many contribution would be there for this point how many contribution of potential yes at this a point how many contribution of potential yeah how many contribution of potential at a point so any guesses i guys any guesses one one so for which uh, so which way potential will contribute at this uh, point which potential how many ring charges do we have how many ring charges do we have two, two. we have two ring charges right so at uh, this point how many contributions uh, would be there right ring charges right so two ring uh, charges so at va there would be one ring plus two ring two contributions would be there right is that yes. uh, clear so for this a point this a point is uh, for this ring this a point is what Yes, this A point is what for this ring. Right, uh, this A point is what. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, so this A point is what for this uh, ring. Center. Absolutely right. So B one would be let's say this is. Center of ring one, right? And this A point, forget about uh, this A ring. So this A point is for this ring. This is at some distance, right? Yes. So this is uh, for two. This is at some distance. Is this clear? Yes. Okay, so V at center would be how much? The radius is uh, R one, right? And uh, this is uh, R two. So V at center is how much? This is K Q by simply R one for center, right? Clear? Yes. And for distance, this is k q by x square plus which r r one or r two square? Yes. R two square. Right. Absolutely correct. So these are the contribution due to b. Understood? Yes. Now uh, let us calculate the potential at B. So this is the B point. Okay. So how many contribution would be there for B point? Two. Two. Right. Again two. So B one plus two. Right. So this for this one, this is uh, what point? Center. Again, center. Again, center. So, center, right? And then we just uh, forget about this. So, due to this one, we have some distance. So, again, this would be how much? Center one would be how much? K Q by R one or R two? Yes. 
odd right and uh, then this is k q by x square plus r one square is this uh, clear to you guys clear yes sir so we have we have a uh, ba which is uh, k q by r1 plus k q by root of r2 square plus x square and we have bb which is k q by r2 plus k q by root of r1 square plus x these are the two voltage uh, potential so potential difference b a minus b b this, this would be k q by r1 plus by and minus of k q by r2 minus of k q by r1 square plus x square okay so what you do what you guys do is that so k q is a common so we have 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 square plus x square minus 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 square plus x square so you guys have all the values right k is uh, 9 into 10 to the power 9 q is uh, 10 to the power minus 6 r1 is uh, 0.06 r2 is 0.09 and uh, x is uh, 0.12 so plug in all the values and uh, calculate what is pa minus Okay, so try this and solve this and uh, send and tell me the answer in the next class. Okay. Any doubt in this question? Yeah, any doubt in this question, guys? No, sir. So please uh, note it down. So please note down from it. Note down uh, from it. and uh, aisha did you take that assessment yes sir we'll uh, talk about those other things thanks and whenever you guys uh, need me to scroll down the screen uh, you guys please tell me Whenever you guys uh, need me to scroll down, that right? that.
Yes, uh, noted, uh, Aish. Yes. Okay, so now uh, we will go to the next topic, which is which is potential the so potential due to line change now uh, now uh, we already know that for and this is a long line charge right so this is a long line charge you got it so we have this long line charge and uh, we know that what is the electric field due to this uh, long line charge so do you guys uh, remember what is the what is the electric field of a long infinite wire yes what is the electric field of a long infinite wire In Gauss law, in Gauss law, we took some uh, cylindrical uh, Gaussian surface right? and then we calculated uh, the electric field due to line charge, right? So very long line charge. This was uh, what? Do you guys uh, remember now? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is the electric field due to uh, long line charge, right? Now voltage or potential, why do I keep calling it? So potential is minus infinity, right? Let's say fixed point R and then E and uh, dot TR, but these are in the same, right? So this is a TR, and then uh, this electric field is in the same direction, right? So E dot TR in the same direction, so this is the TR. Now uh, this is uh, infinity R, and E is lambda by two by epsilon dot R TR. So lambda by two of pi psi naught is uh, taken outside, and we have infinity to r one over r dr. So what is the integration of one over x? Do you guys uh, remember? Can you guys tell me what is the integration of one over x? Yes. What is the integration of one over x? You guys are remember. Yes, guys. Yeah. No, no, no. So the integral of x n. Dx is uh, xn plus 1 divided by n plus 1. But for, not, uh, but not for this case. You see, if you apply x minus 1 dx, so n is how much? n is minus 1. So then you will get x minus 1 plus 1 divided by minus 1 plus 1. So this would be zero by, this is not defined, right? So we cannot apply this one for this case. Okay, for x equal to minus one, this is not applicable, right? Okay, so you tell me uh, who got a disconnect. Yeah, so you tell me, Aisha, that uh, 
what is the inverse of integration what is the inverse of integration so what is the opposite of addition subtraction subtraction so what is the opposite of integration differentiation yes what is the opposite of integration differentiation differentiation absolutely right so differentiation is the differentiation is the opposite of integration so can you recall can you recall what is the differentiation of non x what is the differentiation of non x what is the differentiation of log x you don't remember so this is 1 by x differentiation of non x is 1 by x so if i uh, take this dx in this side and then i integrate on both sides so non x would be equal to 1 by x integration of 1 by dx is how much 1 by dx is how much log x right yes so this would be so this is 1 over x dx so this would be lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught and uh, this is let me write log so ln means ln means log to the base this is the meaning of log so this is a log x log r and uh, this is r to infinity so r to infinity okay so the answer would be lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught and first we put the upper limit so this is log of r minus then we put so in here what would be here then we put the lower limit so what would be in here yes so in place of r i put r so this is log r minus of in place of r what i will put infinity so this would be log of infinity so this is the potential but but uh, you have this log infinity is undefined right log infinity is undefined right so log infinity doesn't so doesn't have any value so which means that this potential is undefined so potential is not defined for long charge y or a long line charge So is this a point clear to you guys? Is this point clear? Yes, sir. Yes. So please uh, note it down, and then I will talk about. So how do we calculate the potential of a potential of if potential is not defined, then what is the definition or what kind of potential do we have for the line long line charge? So first, you guys note it down, and then I'll talk about uh, the next one. Please uh, note it down.
So whenever you guys they need me to scroll down that right. Yeah, should I scroll down the screen? Uh, yes, sir. Aisha, noted. Yes. Whenever you guys have finished, I'll not take it. Done. Okay. So, so then what do we do? So for the case of, for the case of a long line charge, we calculate the potential drift, right? Because uh, because potential is not defined for the long run. So let's say we have a, we have a very long line charge, right? And we are right. So first. We calculated uh, the work done in bringing a charge from infinity, right? From infinity to our point. But we saw that we cannot do that for the case of the line charge. So what we will do is that we will bring the charge from, let's say, A point to B point. So this uh, was the case of Okay, for the case of linear charge, we will bring the charge from fixed point A to fixed point. So B, uh, we are cal so this is the finest point, right? B B minus A B integral A to B minus of B B R. So this would be minus of uh, A to and this is lambda by 2 pi psi naught r dr. So this would be again same uh, calculation. Same calculation, this is a b 1 by r dr. So this is minus, and this is log of r b 2 a. This would be simply minus log pi psi naught log of b minus log of a. So for the case of uh, b, for the case of yeah, for the case of uh, what a long linear charge, we calculate the potential. Right, so we calculate the potential. Yeah, 
Is that uh, clear to you guys? Clear? Yes, uh, guys, clear. Okay, so please uh, do talk for. Yeah, please uh, no talk. What we did is that we are bringing a charge from Q to A point. For the case of the uh, long F charge. So whenever you guys want me to scroll down the screen, guys. Yes, sir. Should I scroll down the screen, guys? Whenever you guys have completed a 